Hello, this is Barry, and you're watching Barry and the P.I. I'm out here by the uh, waterfall, which uh, Pepper is drinking from. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you about my brother, my older brother. His name was Nathaniel Austin Brookshire. And he was born in the 1930s. He's about five years older than me. Uh, he was born with birth defects with others. He was never able to walk his muscles and, and his legs and arms never developed. So uh, he had to get around in a wheelchair. And as soon as I was tall enough to, to look over the the wheelchair to push him, we would go exploring around East Austin where we lived at that time. Uh, despite his, his physical disabilities, uh, he was, his mentally he was on a genius level. One of the smartest men I've ever known. And, uh, and most of the professors at the University of Texas saw that he was way up there too. Uh, he had a great sense of humor. He could make you laugh. And he could also be a tyrant. He, uh, my mother told us when I was a little that you can't play or, or treat and they uh, and they, that's what we call it by his initials in a uh, you had to treat him as he told it. You do what he says. I can lead to all kinds of trouble. And uh, but he was just brilliant. Uh, he went through school. The reason why we moved where we did is that, uh, uh, well, the place was cheap. <laughs> we rented a, house, a little house uh, right across the street from Go Valley Elementary School. And the principal got to know my brother, and he lived right across the street from us, there on the school grounds. Uh, and he said, my brother can come to school there. And uh, they were originally had moved to Austin from Port Arthur, where I was born, uh, because the doctor was telling him that he did put, put my brother into a state hospital. And they have school there. And my parents moved up to Austin, but they just couldn't do it. They saw how, how brilliant he was. And he was reading by the time I was born. Uh, and my parents tried to give him uh, do things for him as well as they could. The Will Rogers Foundation provided a wheelchair and uh, a little bit of money to help my brother, take care of my brother. And uh, he blossomed in school. I had to follow him behind him five years later, and all the teachers said that my brother was the best student that he'd ever had. And uh, poor me, <laughs> I was not on that level. <coughs> but. The uh, thing that amazed me, you know, is before vaccines had been developed, or just as they were being developed, uh, but people would be very cruel to him. They would just pretend that he can't, he can't hear them, but they'd make snide remarks and stuff. And he heard it. And it hurt him, and it pissed him off, too. Uh, so, a lot of people were cruel, 
but there were a lot of very, very fine, kind uh, people out there too. And uh, he made friends wherever he went. There in elementary school, the biggest, baddest guy there became friends with my brother. And so nobody in that school was gonna mess with my brother. Uh, they donned to be there to see him. And uh, he went, to, uh, went through elementary, junior high, and high school. Uh, all of my uh, teachers were always had great things to say about my brother. And uh, uh, he did well in, in the University of Texas. No. Hey. Uh, he's that car puller then. That's what he's going about. Pepper. No. A follow. No. I've got no follow. But uh, he really excelled at the University of Texas. He was very good at math and science, but his love was literature, books. Uh, my parents had got him uh, a, a series of books called The Great Books of the Western World. And here's one that's really nice. And uh, my brother read every one of them too. And I still go through there and I find comments he wrote about something, about that particular uh, sentence in their idea. Uh, so he, he majored in English. Uh, he also uh, had enough hours in English in philosophy and uh, classical civilization. And that's what he made me. The administrator, registrar just called him in and said, you've got all of these, uh, you've got enough uh, hours done in three different uh, fields. Which one do you want? He said English. And uh, so he graduated uh, in English and uh, the, uh, uh, and he, he graduated with honors uh, and I mean so many professors would come over to our house and just sit there and go up and talk for hours. Some different fields too. Dr. Sukup was head of the Asian Studies Department, who had often come over. Uh, Mary Pearl Williams, she was a, a government professor, and she was married to the dean of the UT Law School. She would come over and they would say, she was beautiful, good blonde, good nice blonde. And I was just junior high at high school. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Nathaniel had every winter he would come close to dying. They'd have to take him out and put him in the hospital for a couple of weeks. Uh, it was just the cold weather always got to him. <coughs> And uh, so he graduated and then he wanted to go to graduate school. And uh, he went to a graduate school that, uh, oh, what is it, Oberlin or something like that. Uh, up in Boston, outside of Boston. I got to fly, go with him, fly, fly with him up to interview with the, uh, 
to get a graduate scholarship and get accepted into the program. But I got a nice trip out of that. You know, we had fun. Uh, the English department paid for him to go. The same fair and hotel. Uh, that's how much respect they had for him. And uh, it was in 1970-something, uh, we got word that the, he passed away. He got sick with bronchial pneumonia, and that did it to him. Uh, he was teaching at that time. He was a professor at, at uh, Boston University uh, when Dr. John Silber was, became the president of Boston University. And my brother gets his, his uh, master's or PhD degree, and, and uh, Dr. Silber got him to hire him as an English professor when he passed away. And uh, it was a sad time for me because I had I'd grown up with him. And he had been such an influence on my life uh, in many, many ways. Uh, especially uh, understanding of and caring for about people with disabilities. And, and understanding the cruelties that often disabled people face in the general public. But that's it. That's, that's about my brother, Daniel Austin Brookshire. Uh, he, his life did impact a lot of people. A lot of people remember him in the days of the University of Texas. So that's about it. You can see it's a cloudy, overcast day. May get some rain. I was worried about getting rained out during this video. So that's um, some, gave you some understanding of me and, and my relationship with uh, uh, disabled people. Uh, my good friend from the university, James Todd. He's retired now, but he was the one that sued the University of Texas uh, <coughs> to make it easier for uh, people with disabilities to get around the university. And he won. And the university had to fork over uh, millions to improve the ability to get in, get to and get into University Village on the UT campus. And uh, Jim's retired now and he's back in Austin, Texas. And I'm hoping I can get him and his wife, Carolyn, uh, to come and visit us and uh, see the other side of the, of the world a little bit. Well, that's about it, and uh, thank y'all for watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful day, uh, and I'm having a wonderful day. It's been nice, cool, uh, not hot, I haven't sweated a bit, so that's, that's great. Love the weather up here. And, on this plateau, or I don't know if it's a plateau or just mountain range. <laughs> so, well, uh, right now, it's my tea. I'll, I'll do one on, on my tea because it's uh, extremely healthy. Keep you from getting cancer or spreading. Uh, it's, uh, one of the uh, Pepper's dogs, and this is white dog, running by. Now our dog's gonna go bark at him.
Well, y'all take care, stay safe, and we'll see you again tomorrow.